So I had one of these little babies and it was connected to my PC, actually to my MacBook. And it wanted to update it when I went to put it back on the iPad. And then during the update process, it had an error. So I had to try and work out what the heck was going on. These little babies have caused a lot of people a lot of grief over the years, but I'm gonna show you how I fixed it today. Before I tell you how I fixed it, I'm gonna tell you what didn't work. Call me old fashioned, but I tried turning it off and on again. That's right, I turned my iPad off and then I turned it back on again to see if that would make a difference. So after it was turned off and turned back on again, I tried to reconnect and the same error came up. So I thought, aha, I need to turn my Wi-Fi on. So I turned the Wi-Fi on and I tried it again and the same error came up. It was interesting because on the message, it says, if the problem persists, plug a USB cable into your device and see if you can get it going again. So I plugged it into my MacBook and I allowed access, of course. I decided to click on the three dots over on the right hand side here. When you see this connection tab, you can see the three dots. So I tapped on those three dots and I reset the settings and it went through the process of resetting the hub as it usually does with all the uh, colorful lights appearing on the hub and the wheel went past 70%. I couldn't believe it. But then I, when I went to connect and went through the process of connecting, there was a bit of an error. Um, so I thought, well, the main thing I need to do is unplug it. So I turned the hub off and turned it back on again. And I tried to connect via my MacBook wirelessly via Bluetooth. And I went through the process once again and it seemed to work. And I thought, phew, at least I got it working again through my MacBook. Now let's try again on the iPad. So I went back to my iPad and I went to the Spike Prime app and I opened it all up and I went to connect and it went through the whole process again. And when it got to 70%, you wouldn't believe it. It had another error. I went through the whole process again on a different iPad and it still didn't work. Then I tried to connect it with the cable using an adapter and it said there wasn't enough power to do that, so I couldn't do that. Then I went to my own YouTube channel, looked up my video about how to fix my Bluetooth problems and I thought I'd go through that process. So I followed my video to reset the hub by holding down the power button for 10 seconds and whatnot. And then after all that happened, it still didn't work. So I thought, bugger this, I'm gonna delete the app. So I deleted the app from my iPad and then after deleting it, I decided to go into the App Store and reinstall it. And after I did that, it worked. I couldn't believe it. So there's three things that you really should take away from this video. Number one, if you can, always use the same hub with the same device or the same device with the same hub that's really important and number two is make sure that you have the same app version on each device if you're going to be swapping between devices make sure it's the same app and number three when in doubt delete the app and reinstall it and here's a shout out to my official Robot Man fan members, especially to Mark and Lily, my two newest members. Thanks for joining and supporting my channel. If you want to become a member, hit join below any of my videos or even say thanks by hitting the thanks button. I hope I've answered your questions about the hub. And if I haven't, well, this is everything else that I've learned from using a hub for five years.